Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to use the command G-A-T-T-E or gate and how you can save time by using this on your title block that have editable attributes. Let's get started. In my previous video titled how to create a title block with editable attributes, I will put a link down in the description I showed you by adding attributes, you can easily manage and change information onto your title block. By using the command GATTE, you can utilize that even further and you will be able to save more time. Let's go back to the model. Here I added a simple house drawing that has a roof plan, a second floor, ground floor, and a basement that is ready to be plotted. Let's go back to paper space or layout one. Let's set up the first viewport for the roof plan. Cl double click. In this example, I'm not worried about the scale, so I'm just going to zoom in and fit the drawing. Once you are done, double click outside. Let's create three more layout by right clicking on the layout one and choose move or copy. Highlight move to end and check create a copy and press OK. I will do two more layouts like this. Once you are done and have four layouts, it is a good idea to rename the layout tabs by right clicking on the layout one, rename, Roof plan, second floor, first floor, and lastly, basement. I will then fix the drawing in each layout. Double click and then just by moving. Now we can type the command gate, G-A-T-T-E, and then press enter. It will ask you to select the block or attributes. I'll select, select this. Now we can enter the text. In this example, I put 2020. Enter and then enter again. Let's do the rest. I'm just going to zoom in so that you can see it better. So let's type gate again, G-A-T-T-E, enter. Select the text. I'm going to put NTS, meaning not to scale. Press enter. Enter. It's through project name. House. Let's do it again. Drawn by JP.
project number. And then let's lastly revision. So let's put rev one. Let's check it. So as you can see, it changes on all layout tabs. This setup is ideal every time you have revisions. Doing your drawing changes and having this already set up, you can change the date and revision number a lot faster. And just imagine, if you have more than 10 layout tabs, that will be time consuming. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe and feel free to comment down below.